What's going on guys, Mr. Akalai here, coming at you with another match review, and this time we are looking at Mena vs. Paladin in Street Fighter VI from CEO 2024. Now these are two top level players, both masters of their characters, so let's not waste any time and jump right on into this. Alright, Mena vs. Paladin, let's do this. Go ahead and break this down. Oof, and right away, Paladin gets the sweep hard knockdown. What are we doing with it? Oh, we get a courtesy grab. Courtesy grab, in case you don't know, is any time where you are trying to set something up, whether it be your own grab or some sort of meaty, and then you end up being the one getting thrown. So that's what happens to Paladin here. He goes for his meaty crouch jab. He's a little bit off, so he does get courtesy thrown. This turns it into menace pressure instead. <laughs> and man, man, we got some funny stuff right off the bat. So this this, this is something that uh, I think we all hate when this happens to us in a match. When somebody whiffs a throw, Mena goes for the throw here, but it whiffs. And the reaction to their whiff throw is to make you whiff a throw. Like you see them throw, so you press throw. And this leaves Paladin open, so he does get punished here. That's pretty funny. And then another meaty throw. So Paladin is just getting tossed right here. He is going to say, get off of me with the EXDP. Going in for the pressure, but wow. Wow, this is all happening so fast. So Mena says no. Gets another knockdown here. What do we got? So that is plus. Reminder that the EX Lightning is plus. So he does get himself a throw out of this situation. Ooh, so that was really nice. So that was a huge bait the Mena did right there. This is what you basically would call a fake drive rush or a drive rush fake. This is where you do a drive rush and then you press a button early like a light as, as Mena did right here. And what it does is it kills the momentum of your drive rush. That way you stop traveling forward and you're able to block sooner. But basically the opponent sees that you're green and they see the, the screen freeze. So they'll start buffering their reversal most times. So they'll press throw or they'll input DP or in this case, it made Paladin go for super. So he, he saw the drive rush, so it made him input super. But since Mena faked it, he's not actually in any danger. He's actually able to parry this super and get his meter back. As you can see, he was kind of low on meter, but if you parry a wake up super, it gives you a bunch of your drive gauge back. So this allows you to do a maximum punish. If you block a wake up super, you lose gauge. So obviously parrying it is the ideal way to go because you get gauge that way. You can go for a big punish, which is which Min is doing right here. And that is gonna be the round. Man, that was fast, dude. Like, I, I feel like I have to pause a lot because things just happen so fast that if I don't pause it, by the time I'm done explaining what just happened, seven more things will have happened. So forgive me for the pauses because if I'm gonna break this down, you know, I'm gonna have to because otherwise I'm just gonna miss everything. Let's see, what do we got for the next round here? All right, we're playing some neutral here, going in with the drive rush. Get a throw, nice and standard stuff. Wake up, parry. Nice confirm off of that, man. I, I, I love seeing like actual quick confirms, like getting a combo confirm in Street Fighter is like one of the most fun things about the game. But also Lightning Beast is one of the most fun things about the game. Lightning Beast into blanca -chan. Let's see what Paladin's answer is here. Ooh, he's just gonna EXDP. I mean, that's that, that's a good option. I mean, it, that's as good as anything else. When when he puts down the Blancachan in this situation, basically your options are block, which is technically the worst option because it's just not in your favor. He can cross you up. He can just throw you. He has access to an overhead and a low. So the chances of you getting out of this unscathed are incredibly low. Like this is so in Blanca's favor that it's ridiculous. So the best options here are, as you can see, just an EX reversal. You can also do wake up uh, drive reversal. That's pretty good in this situation too. And then parry is a decent option because parry obviously beats cross ups, lows and overheads. It only loses to throw options. So whenever you're in the situation where, you put, where they put down the Blanca doll, 
you have to rotate one of the three, either block, parry, or DP, but you basically have to do one of the three. One of the two of the three are your better options because block, it's very, very, very hard to block this situation. So once again, Paladin goes for the same setup after getting his uppercut. And right here, last time he lost to Blanca's stand light punch. So he waits a second and does a heavy punch to fish for a counter hit. But Mena also changed up what he did. Instead of doing stand light punch, he did stand light kick, which is faster. So they ended up trading. That's pretty funny. So a lot of parries coming out. We get the, was that a counter hit? Yeah, that was actually a counter hit. He still gets the wall splat though. This wasn't a guard break, it was a straight up counter hit. So we're gonna get another Blanca Chan here. What's the option gonna be? Yep, and there goes the meaty throw. That That's why the Blanca Chan situation is just so scary, dude, because as soon as he's done throwing it, meaty throw is just, it, it's impossible to react to. And then there it goes again. You saw it again. The fake drive rush, he whiffs the light because Paladin has been doing a lot of reversals. He's doing a lot of wake up supers and a lot of uh, uppercuts, which I don't, I don't fault him for. I mean, it's Blanca, you have to do those things. But obviously Mena has caught on and this time he does the fake out and then steps back. This causes Paladin to get shimmied and Mena actually reacts to the shimmy with a heavy, which is going to grant him the kill. Man, dude. These matches are so fast, dude. They're so fast that I feel like it's kind of hard to break things down. Like I said, I feel like I just have to keep pausing because there's just so much to talk about. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys don't mind the pausing because like I said, if, if I didn't pause, this review would be like five minutes. It would be five minutes because I would only get to talk about one thing per round because these, these matches, Street Fighter matches are too fast. The very early whiff punish, a little bit of pressure here. Ooh, okay, I like that. So this is a really good way to stop the Blanca mix. Whenever Blanca does his Blanca ball, there's several different options you can go for. The most popular is to parry it because if you perfect parry the Blanca ball, then you get a punish, obviously. But the trap of it, as most people know, is that if he does the light version, he will stop short and then you'll get thrown. Even more so in season two now that parry has more recovery on it. So even now more than ever, the better option is to just uh, use your fastest button to check it. So as you can see right here, when he did the stop short, he gets punish countered, which would have given Paladin a combo, but he was a little bit too far away. He reacted to the punish counter and almost got his combo. As you can see, he goes for the medium punch. He's just a little bit too far away because of the pushback on the punish counter. So that's definitely the right answer because most times, even if they do do the fierce Blanca ball, your fast button, as long as it has a pretty good hitbox hurt box ratio, nine times out of 10, it will knock Blanca out as long as you act fast enough. There is also the DP option, but that's very risky because that can get baited pretty hard by the light version. So we've got some nice pressure here. Keeping the pressure going. Both players vying for space here. Man, and that, that situation's just so hard, man. Oh, that was nice, that was very nice. I was just about to say, it's just hard. Like, you're not always gonna react to Drive Rush. Like, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. It's very hard to react to it every time. And most times you react to it with a block because if you get stuffed by a Drive Rush, the other person is just so plus that you're gonna eat a pretty nasty combo. It's not gonna hurt, but it's gonna be a pretty decent combo. So you, most times you end up blocking, which just sets you up for a throw. So it's kind of crazy that in this game, you basically can get shimmied from like mid screen. You can basically get shimmied by drive rush from mid screen, which is so crazy. So Paladin, he takes the throw this time, but when Mina tries to do it again, he does the backdash. It's very, very smart. Backdash is involved to throws. So he is going to get a punish here. He goes for the jab punish so that he makes sure he doesn't miss the window jab into crouch medium. And then he does the heavy Tatsu so that he gets out of the corner, but is still at advantage. Very, very nice stuff. That it, it, I just love seeing, like this is like my favorite thing about fighting games, just seeing like 
all these sorts of smart and high level decision making in a split second. That's like my favorite thing to see. So he's gonna he's gonna use the Oki of the meaty fireball and then he's going to drive rush in behind it. But I'm not sure if he had a missed input there because he didn't actually do anything. Maybe he was waiting for the right distance, but he didn't actually do anything. So he does end up getting counter hit. And then Min is going to react to the counter hit with a conversion. And then he does his own corner escape by doing the drive rush into the hop. And he gets himself out of the corner. Goes to the throw, but it does not connect. Now we're both back in neutral. Nice knockdown on that. Boom, dang. So right here, he just caught Mina trying to, most likely trying to tech, because he had just thrown him. So the fact that he got him with a meaty heavy punch like this probably means Mina was trying to tech. He probably thought a throw loop was coming. Can't blame him, and he's gonna convert that counter hit into a very nice combo that is going to get him the kill for that round. Good stuff. Let's see what's going on. Dang, okay, so like I said, you're not always gonna react, but when you've got young man reactions, look at how fast he reacted to this. Instantly, boom. Like that was a close one too. And he instantly reacted with the sweep. Very nice. But Min is gonna say, get off of me. No, sir, EX up ball. I feel like it's such a scary thing in this game to actually put your reversals out there. I feel like in this game, it's scarier to reversal than most others because of the fact that your reversal costs you two of your drive gauges so you spend two drive gauges for the get off me which which is important and it should be like that but i just in my opinion it just makes it scary because if it gets blocked look at how low you are and then if you get punished countered you lose another bar so anytime somebody does an ex reversal i always just think man what if it had been blocked but it is something you absolutely have to do in this game because you will get mauled very nice reaction to the whiff sweep uh, Paladin has been, he, he's pretty much had like a 98% accuracy on these sweeps, but Mena is going to tag him for that. That is actually a really good punish counter button because you get that nice tumble. And then he gets a good meaty situation here. Oh, I like that. On the way down, he faked a jump in. Basically just whiffed the light, which, uh, or the medium, I mean, which made it look like he's going to do something. And then he just goes for the throw and it does end up being a counter hit. Another fake drive rush. It's it's paying the bills. The drive rush fake is just paying the bills. He does it again. This time Paladin wakes up with a jab. Lightning beast in the corner. Let me get a meter check here. Okay, so Mina is the one who's behind on meter. Paladin's got full meter, so he doesn't have to worry too much. He can basically try to weather the storm here because he's not going to get burned out by this. But he does go for the drive reversal. I respect that because he has so much resources to work with. He is able to use the drive reversal to just say, get off me and just get out of this situation. Nice sweep. Ooh, that is plus. Plus frames into level three. We're getting the player cam for reactions. <laughs> What's the Oki? Lightning Beast is still active. Look at the bottom left-hand corner. He's still got about half the time left on Lightning Beast. He hasn't really done anything with it yet. But Mena is incredibly low on drive gauge our knockdown dp get off of me no fear oh and then that time paladin did the fake drive rush this time drive rush bait drive rush into stan light and then this time it was mena who got baited into doing a reversal and that is going to be the punish for the ill very very nice stuff so both players taking a second, just taking a little breather here. I don't blame them. This this match has been lightning fast, man. This match has been insanely fast. There's just so much happening. There's so much going by. Very, very high pacing. So they're just taking a second. And look at how chill they look. I, I like how they both just seem like they're having fun. We got a little fist bump in there. You really do love to see it, man. I, I love fighting games. You guys know that? You guys know I love fighting games. But here we go. Last round. Here we go. Not last round. Last match. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last round. They, they only get one round. All right, so we're doing doing some pokes here. A little bit of neutral. Goes in with the rainbow ball. Paladin very smartly walks. Oh, actually, he backdashed. Wow. I thought he walked under it. See, this is why it's good to pause. He backdashed because if you block rainbow ball, it's plus. You can try to DP it and you can try to interact with it but it is one of those moves where they can change their trajectory so you can get baited. 
So he wisely just decides like, no, I'm not gonna be a part of this. I'm just gonna backdash. No, thank you. I'm not interested. And then he gets another throw. And Paladin, Paladin's accuracy on these sweeps, dude. The sweep accuracy is insane. Like he just sees, anytime he sees anything that even looks like a whiff, bam. <laughs> Ooh, but Mena wakes up on buttons right there. He challenges. And yeah, that... Dang, dude. Okay, that's two things I want to talk about. Dang. So, and that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Uh, this is why it's risky to try to DP it or interact with it. Paladin does try to interact with it this time. He tries to anti-air it with a heavy kick, but he falls up short. Mena tries to whiff punish the heavy kick, but ends up whiffing. And then Paladin, once again, with his hawk vision... And young man reaction sees the whiff and bop sweeps him again. 98% accuracy. And once again, Mena wakes up with the EX up ball. He's got a 98% accuracy rating on when to actually EX up ball. Ooh, man. And both of them. Mena says, you know what? I got reactions too. Immediately sweeps the drive rush attempt. Says, get off of me. Wow, did he just combo off of a trade? Let me see that. Because he does a meaty back medium. It counter hits and they trade. Wow, yeah, he did. That's a trade combo. So even though they traded because of the fact that Paladin only did a jab and Mena did a medium, pa uh, Mena, Mena recovered first. So he actually gets to continue his combo and good on Mena for actually reacting to that fact, reacting to the fact that even though he got hit, he can still continue his combo. That is a nice split second reaction. He's going to burn himself out at the cost of extending this combo. Uh, I feel like it's definitely worth it because look at uh, Paladin's health. And he's getting the corner off of this. So once again, was that the new mechanic right there? Did we say it? It was. Wake up, drive, reversal. So even though Paladin has a DP, and this is good, even if you do have a DP, wake up, drive, reversal is still really, really good because it's just much less punishable. If you wake up with a drive reversal, especially if the opponent is in burnout, that's the most important thing. The main reason why he's doing this here is because the opponent actually can't punish this when they're in uh, burnout. Very, very smart stuff there. Ooh, and that was not bad. Paladin tried to do a fireball and then run behind it, but he had already committed to a button, so, pa uh, so Paladin... So Mena was able to punish him and get the kill. That was a good option. It's just that he got stuffed. All right, so we're, we're taking our time now. And once again, bro, these reactions. These reactions, bro. Oh! <laughs> so throughout this entire game, throughout this entire set, I should say, Mena has been landing so many drive rush throws. So this time he does drive rush hop and it baits the throw out of Paladin. Very, very smart stuff, man. That That is textbook conditioning. If you ever hear people talk about conditioning in fighting games, that's what it looks like. You do something several times in a set, it's going to make the opponent weary of it. And then the next time you don't do that thing, it's probably gonna give you an opening. Ooh, and the one time Paladin's uh, sweep does not go through, it actually does get blocked and punish that's gonna be a pretty good punish he's gonna get in the corner lightning beast let me get a meter check here uh-oh paladin is very very low so this lightning beast is gonna be pretty spooky let me see oh he doesn't go for the pressure though mena does not go for the pressure wow young man reactions mena doesn't go for the drive gauge pressure here instead he goes for a mix-up i respect it but right here this is insane he does look at how close he is he does a fairly close Blanca ball and it gets DP. Very nice reaction. See, that would have been terrible for Paladin if he would have blocked that because he would have lost so much drive gauge due to the fact that Lightning Beast is 100% active. And then once again, Mena with the 98% hit ratio on the EX up ball. And because he's in Lightning Beast, he's going to be able to combo it. He's going to get more pressure here. Paladin's going to wake up with a level 2 super, get off of me, fireball to keep him at bay. Blanca ball, we are scrapping. Plus frames. Perfect parry sweep. 
I love it, dude. Perfect parry, sweep for hard knockdown, light Tatsu to switch sides, taking his advantage with the jab, staggering. What do we got here? Next hit's gonna choose the winner of this round, and it might take it. Oh, but that whiff cost him. He fished with the crouch medium, a very good button, but it does get whiff punished by the neutral jump. Neutral jump medium, no, neutral jump heavy, into heavy, into drive rush heavy. Big dead, level one super. Really, really good stuff by Paladin there. It's amazing that he was able to build that bar after having just spent a level two not that long ago. This is going to be the last round. Get hype. Wow. Mena goes in. He probably, because he's he's done so many different drive rush mix-ups by this point, he probably thought that he could sneak in a drive rush overhead. But Paladin says no. He, he checks it with the crouching light, which gives him a combo into crouch medium. He's gonna get some corner carry. Ooh, that was a meaty Hashogeki off of the knockdown. This is meaty, very, very plus here. So Mena's unable to move. It looks like Paladin caught him standing up with the low short. So he gets another knockdown, goes to the throw. And again, I gotta say it again, Mena with a 99% hit radiant ratio on these EX up balls. And once again, the rainbow ball, ooh. Once again, Paladin moves under the rainbow ball, but is still in range of throw. So he avoided the rainbow ball, but still gets thrown. Another throw. What's gonna happen? He goes for the overhead, but it gets checked again here. They're going to trade. He does not get a combo off of this trade though. Light, uh, he does a crouch light into lightning. Ooh, fishing with the neutral jump again. Throw set up so fast. The sweep, dude. What did he even react to? Was that a heavy kick? Dang, it was a heavy kick. Oh, that was a very nice reaction to the DI. Reacted to the DI with a parry. Crouch medium into lightning beast. Let me get a meter check. Paladin's got a lot of meter here, so he can weather the storm for sure. He's almost got full drive gauge. Men, on the other hand, is pretty low, so let's see what happens here. This could be the game. He's chipping out his gauge. He does get the hit there. Chipping out his gauge. Okay, so Lightning Beast is over. Paladin just decided to weather the storm. I respect it. He's very, very, very low on gauge. Mena got all his gauge back, but at least he didn't get hit. You can actually parry at this point right here. There is a gap after this right here, but trying to parry there opens you up to throw mix-ups and stuff like that, so Paladin probably thought it wasn't worth it to try and risk getting thrown, so he's just gonna weather the storm here. Lightning Beast is over. Oh, and that was a big whiff. He whiffed the low forward. Mena reacts with a crouch medium boom. You can see the punish counter. This means he's gonna get a big combo, and that should be it. Woo, man. <laughs> and they got the GG's handshake. You love to see it. That was good stuff, man. Wow, that was a very, very hype set, man. I, I liked that one a lot. Uh, you love to see the sets that come down to the wire. And man, was this one blazing fast, man. There's just so many things happening. So many decisions being made so quickly. This is just such a fast paced game. Just look at all these things that are happening here in this final round. I would say the turning point is probably just that whiff at the end because they're both per perfectly evenly matched. This whole round, as you can see, they're both just going hit for hit. Because usually this is the point in the in the review where we try to picture, where we try to pinpoint what the turning point is, what decided the winner at the end. And I gotta say, it was just this final moment right here because who, th this is basically whoever whiffs first is going to lose and it just happened to be Paladin. Mena just, he just had a little bit more patience in this situation. He was just chilling, saw the whiff and capitalized. This could have easily gone the other way. Like let's say that like Mena had whiffed his crouch medium and then Paladin had hit him with a low forward, then he would have died. So it's like, I would basically, I would definitely say that this was the final turning point to decide the winner of this match. And man, what a match it was. And that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for listening, guys. This was my, basically my first time doing a match review for Street Fighter. I usually do these for other games, but 
for a while i've been interested in starting to do them for street fighter so let me know what you think uh, be, definitely give me some feedback in the comments i would love to know what you guys think like i would like to do some more of these definitely like you know refine my technique on it uh, I have a lot less experience match reviewing these. I mean, even though I play a lot of Street Fighter and I always have played a lot of Street Fighter, I haven't really done a lot of reviews on Street Fighter. So I feel like I got to kind of, you know, get my groove. You know, I'm not I'm not as experienced with like uh, commentating Street Fighter as I am playing it. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like if you did. It really does help out a lot. Um, I'll be sure to put up some more match reviews of this in the near future, as well as some other games. I also want to do some match reviews for, like, Grand Blue. I've done some for Grand Blue before. I would like to do that. So, yeah, keep just keep an eye out on the channel. Uh, I'll be planning to put some more stuff out. But either way, as usual, I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one, and I will see you. Ace.